and welcome back. A really spectacular effort is going on to get photographs of all of the soldiers who are deploying with their families before they leave. And to talk more about that is Jason Frederick, and you're with Screaming Light Studio. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me, Stephanie. It's great to be here. Yeah, Operation Lover United is an effort that donates photographs to soldiers who are deploying to combat zones overseas. And what we do is we donate our time as photographers to take pictures of these soldiers with their families. We publish a book of images of, of usually a pocket size for these guys since they're out in the desert. Mm -hmm. And we ship it over to them at their duty station. Right. Well, these are just some of the pictures that you, they kind of like what they look like, right? Just these photos are, of their families. These are some examples of some recent work that we've done. Um, yeah, and as you can see, we, in, we really like to get the soldiers in there if at all possible. Uh, sometimes it's not, sometimes the family doesn't learn about our effort until after the soldier has deployed, and in which case we will do family photos without the soldier in them and then ship them over, and sometimes that means even more. Right. Some of these are really great photos, like candidates or just family portraits, just really nice uh, images with the families. Well, thank you. And you're organizing this, this effort. You're trying to get 4,000 Fort Bliss soldiers with their families in April. We are. Uh, actually, we were contacted by a, fa a family readiness group down on Fort Bliss about a month ago. Um, and the lady who called me on the phone said, oh, we need you to, you know, we'd like you to photograph 4,000 of our troops. And I went, there's no way that my studio can handle that. Uh, so what I did is I hopped on the Oplove members board and put out the call. And we've got photographers flying in from as far away as Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Uh, to help us with this effort. We've also got a lot of local support. We've had a lot of local photographers helping and uh, just random local volunteers have been calling me too. Wow, that's great. And so the reason you're here, of course, is because it costs money to put all of these books together. So you're looking for donations. It, yes, ma'am. Um, it does cost money, especially for when you're talking about 4,000 troops. Um, our usual studio volume is closer to two or three Oplove shoots a month. Doing 4,000 troops in two days is really putting a strain on the Operation Love uh, Reunited Organization and their, you know, their resources. Right. So we're looking for people to help out with either monetary donations or if they're willing to come out and help us on these photo days. Great. Okay, so like we said, April 4th and 5th, if you want to donate, all you need to do is go to oplove.org, or you can go to kvia.com under ABC7 links, and there we've posted a link to oplove.org, as well as directly to the donation site, so they're accepting monetary donations, and of course, that's going to pay for the photo albums, printing, and the shipping fees, so good luck to you. It sounds like a great undertaking there. Well, thank you, Stephanie. I'm, I'm hopeful. It's going to go really, really well. The soldiers are really fired up about it. I'm sure they will be. All right, thank you. Thank you. We're back after the break.